Okay, James W. Corden joins me, Corden, excuse me, joins me now live from Washington, D.C. He is a, a former uh, advisor to the U.S. Russia Bilateral Presidential Commission at the State uh, Department. Thanks indeed for joining us, Mr. Corden. So, as you may have been hearing there, a small part of the convoy has been cleared to cross the border, yet the Ukrainian side still refuses to say when it actually will be allowed to cross. Why do you believe they're stalling yet again? Well, I think both sides are not only engaged in what amounts to a uh, civil war, but they're engaged in a propaganda war as well. And so. Um, the Ukrainians don't really have much of a motive to uh, allow the Russian humanitarian convoy uh, in. And so we saw that um, last Friday uh, when uh, news reports came across the wires saying that uh, the Ukrainians had uh, destroyed a Russian military uh, convoy. That turned out to be um, false. But the reason why uh, they did that was to sort of deflect attention away from the, uh, from the Russian uh, convoy. So w the short answer is, is that uh, it's just part of an ongoing uh, propaganda uh, war. Now, the Red Cross says the situation in Ukraine is dire. That was their word. So why hasn't it drawn more international attention to it? Well, I don't know about um, the coverage in other countries. I can speak to what the coverage has been like here. Um, and basically, the American news media can only handle one or two big stories at a time. So you had the death of a uh, Hollywood actor uh, last week, and then you have the ongoing uh, trouble in Ferguson, uh, Missouri. And uh, that pretty much crowds out uh, everything else, unfortunately. Um, and that's a shame. Uh, if the White House and the State Department was actually uh, talking about the ongoing humanitarian uh, catastrophe uh, in, the, in the East, the, the media would be obliged uh, to cover it. But unfortunately, um, that hasn't been the case. Now, in your recent article, you say the humanitarian crisis is being largely overlooked by Washington. Why did you say that? Because it has been. Um, you would look, you, today's Washington Post, for instance, you would search in vain for any uh, stories regarding the uh, number of civilian casualties or the um, horrible refugee crisis that has been taking place now for months. Um, what are their motives? Uh, it seems to me that it is, it, reporting on this would sort of derail the uh, Washington narrative, which is that there is one uh, good guy and one bad guy uh, in, this, um, in this situation. The bad guy, of course, is Russia, uh, and the good guy, of course, is uh, Poroshenko and his prime minister, uh, Mr. Yatsenyuk. Um, and so any sort of reporting on the death toll, which is now uh, greater than the death toll in Gaza, uh, would uh, absolutely um, sort of derail um, this, it would sort of go off script, in a sense. OK, James W. Carden, former advisor to the U.S.-Russia Bilateral Presidential Commission at the State Department and also contributing editor to the American Conservative magazine. We do appreciate your input this hour. Thank you.